The perfect mashed potatoes, creamy, dreamy, just what you want to see on any table, whether it's the holidays or not, but it is a staple during this time of year. And we are going to learn the correct, I would say correct if you like them, creamy right. way right. to make mashed potatoes. I'm with Chef Belinda at HEB's Cooking Connections. And this is kind of a method our moms and grandmothers probably knew instinctively, but it was a French chef that really kind of publicized it and right. took it to the That's forefront. Right, right? That's right. This is a recipe from um, Joel Robuchon, Robuchon from um, Paris, France. You got a Michelin star maker making this and key parts of the um, potato recipe you need to use Yukon gold potatoes and when you put them in your pan to cook them tangy make sure you put them in cold water all right with a little with bit of salt skins on. with the skins That's on one of the important things to keep in with mind with the skins well. on and don't peel them all right and then after you've got them cooked and boiled take them out and you'll slip the skins just like this the next step is to go ahead and use the food mill. And you say you do use the food mill. You do use a food mill, yes. Why is that important versus using your mixer, your blender, or something else? The food mill actually um, processes the potatoes less tangy, and it gives a texture that's so velvety and heavenly, there is nothing else like okay, it. Okay, so if you use a food mill, and you can get them at HEB, which makes yes, it easy. Yes, you can. I have some already food milled potatoes, and I've been taking the spatula and turning them around, folding them, on medium low heat and fanning it with the plate this is to get the moisture out all right the end texture you should be able to take and make play-doh balls with your potatoes once the potatoes are dried this is when the butter comes in i'm going to put it in half cub at a time and you're going to vigorously stir it with a sturdy spoon this point the butter needs to be room temperature very important and I'm mixing it together to incorporate it. And the ratio to potatoes to butter is, it's the truth, two pounds of potato to one pound of butter. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow is right. Wow tastes good. Wow is what we eat for special occasions. But again, this is a foodie fantastic recipe. I'm doing this over medium low heat in a small saucepan. And it's good. It's like my version of CrossFit workout. The last final step is putting in the brown butter. This is our brown butter that we melted. We're not gonna pour all of it in, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a whisk to get it in. Your taters should be nice and sheeny and shiny like this, and the ratio of the brown butter to the butter is only about 10% of the butter are you gonna go ahead and make toasty brown. I'm putting in the milk, a little bit of black pepper from Adam's Reserve, and the ooh la la foodiness, a little bit of truffle salt. All right, now the best part, right? We get yes, to taste. exactly. Oh my goodness. Get ready, prepare yourself for this. Mmm, that's how they should be. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a butter fest, and they are delicious. Belinda, thank you. We've got the recipe online, and you can watch it again and again to get the perfect technique yes. from Belinda. Thank yes. you. You're welcome.